All right, guys, we are back. I actually have a nice package from We Are Likewise, so I thought we'd do a little unboxing of it. So, right off the rip, you can see really nice packaging for their uh, the shift knobs and extensions. And then you can actually see that some of their other items, like their smaller stuff, uh, adapters, drift buttons, and other accessories, come in these smaller baggies. Really nice quality, thick plastic. So let's get into these. So first off, got one of the, the M10 by 1.25 adapters, the uh, threaded adapters plus. Has the hex on the bottom so you can actually get it off of your shifter. There is also the little Allen screw in the top there that will be adjusted with this guy. So that way you're able to get that perfect positioning of your shift knob in your shifter. So we got that. that next, same kind of packaging. So this one is actually the shift boot retainer. I think this actually looks pretty good. Feels great, it's all metal. It's got the little uh, collar for your shift boot, which is nice. that there. Let's see what we have next. Cool one. So if you guys watched my last video on installing the Skyline radio, then you'll have known that I have been trying to get my hands on this. We are likewise black e-brake button. This is, I believe, style B. A no, it fits the Skyline. Um, and I actually believe it just slips uh, kind of like over the button. I don't know how it actually attaches, if there's like, you're supposed to do a tape or a glue or anything, but at least this way you don't have to physically rip out your button. I know the uh, the Subarus, some of them have a screw-on style, but this one is indeed a just a, a slip-on. Put that there. All right, so for the next little baggie we have, Give you an alcohol wipe to make sure your surface is clean. And then the little H pattern. This one's for the Skyline. Maybe I'll do one for the Subaru. A really nice quality, again, it's metal. Little 3M tape on the back. Super cool. Moving on, we have our extension. Just like the threaded adapter, it also has the Allen screw in the top that you're able to adjust the placement of the screw to, again, get that perfect direction for your shift knob and shifter. And then the adapters not only work for just the shift knobs, but they do work for the extensions as well. Really nice. Engraved. So now this is one of the Daytonas. This is the Cherry Pop that I actually had installed in the Skyline in that last video. Again, this is the non-weighted one versus the Daytona Pro is weighted. Again, they have that nice engraving in the top there. Great grip, knurling is uh, awesome. And the finish and color is just, uh, you know, it's spectacular. It's very uh, on par with Likewise's uh, quality. Their other stuff I've had in their past, it, it's all great stuff, worth every cent in my opinion. All right, put that there. And then last on our list, Daytona Pro. This has gotta be my favorite piece of the bunch. Again, it's that same Daytona as the red cherry pop, but this one is, it's gotta be like, you know, double the weight, I would say easily. It could honestly even be triple the weight by the just the feel of it. I don't have the exact measurements, but if I do have time, I'll annotate them here. The difference on the, the Cherry Pop versus the Daytona Pro. Again, there was a slight price difference between the two. I wanna say it was like 10, maybe 20 bucks. But if I had known that when I was looking at them as much as I like the red or the colors, shift knobs and extensions that they sell, I 100% would buy this. Again, you know, there's no 
no comparison uh, when you have both in your hand. And again, the finish is great. This is available in the silver stainless or the black anodized. I do want to throw some of this stuff into at least the Skyline today. Maybe if I have time, I'll, I'll do some stuff into the Subaru as well. But we do have, again, that H pattern, shift boot retainer, the adapter, drift button, and Daytona Pro are all going to go into the Skyline. And I believe I'm just going to keep the small extension with the Cherry Pop uh, for the Subaru. That's sitting outside waiting to go to the body shop. Let's get to installing some of this stuff. We are back in the Skyline. I'm gonna try and do a couple of quick likewise mods for us. So again, we got the Daytona Pro. We have the threaded adapter plus. We have the shift boot retainer. And then we also have the H pattern and e-brake drift button. So let's get installing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually shift boots around. Needs to come out from the front first because uh, there is an alignment peg in the rear. Lift the front, pull the sides, and that pulls right up and off. Now, I'm not exactly sure the order of operations, I guess, for doing the shift boot retainer. I would imagine that this insert needs to actually come out. That might involve taking more of the shift boot apart, maybe? I wonder if I could put this, like, on the inside of that. I'll figure that out. Okay, guys, we are back again. I did a little messing with the Skyline shift boot. There was a black ring on the channel portion of the shift boot retainer, uh, the factory one. Took that off and then pulled that out. And that actually leaves a little metal ring on the remainder of the shift boot. If we just take our little shift boot retainer, do the likewise emblem towards the back. And if we just put this right through here, it should just pop up through the top. There we go. So you're able to kind of push it into the, uh, the channel of the likewise shift boot retainer. Then if you just flip it upside down, put the retainer on the shifter itself. Flip our e-brake boot. What did I do? Does it screw on? I am not certain that this is actually doing anything. I might have screwed up and bought the wrong one. I mean, it's getting closer, but I just, I don't think it's gonna slide over this. I think I ended up ordering the wrong size. Believe I had gotten the M10 rod by the looks of it. I think I probably should have actually gotten the M12. So that sucks. One mod down the drain. I'm under the impression that this actually was threaded on. Uh, nope, that looks like there was no ring in there that I might have destroyed. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is going on. If I actually look at the amount of threading that I left myself to do this, it, it just, it's not going to work. I guess we'll move on to the next one. I guess maybe first we should have done the drift button. Let's just see if uh, it's as easy as I think it is. Well, like with most of my mods, I'm running into some technical difficulties. I'm guessing that this little silver surround piece needs to come off. It doesn't seem to just want to fit inside that. I'm going to try and get that piece off and see if we can get this on. Be right back. All right, guys, we are back again. As you saw in that last clip, the shift boot retainer didn't work. I've just been fighting with this e-brake sheath for the button for a while. Took a lot of just pull the lever up and push it down, you know, pulling out this metal a sheath for it to slide in and out of. So we can scrap that now. We do have the drift button. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it seems to press nice. The feel of that is phenomenal compared to the before. I know it's not a crazy difference in just the, the action itself, but just the feel of the button 
uh, going to the same uh, knurling that the uh, the shift knobs have, and again, just retaining the, the springiness of the button. That's fantastic. It looks great too. Since the shift boot retainer didn't work, uh, I guess we should put this stock retainer and clip back in. So I'm gonna do that and then once I have the shift boot back on, then we can keep going with installing some more stuff. Okay. So the retainer goes in like this. All right, I'll be back. All right, well, I actually broke something. There was that little plastic ring that goes on the lower portion on that kind of collar piece that I was talking about earlier for the shift boot retainer. Yeah, I snapped that. Uh, it's just old rubber and it just did not hold up over time. But a zip tie works fine. I still have the metal ring in the top for alignment. So everything should work out. We're just gonna throw this back on here. Fix the boot itself. Slide it from the back, front down. We can just do our M10 by 1.25. We are likewise threaded adapter plus. Trusty crescent wrench. You don't want to over tighten it, but you want it to be nice and snug. Can I grab this, see how it sits right off the rip. Look at that. Nice. Again, that shift boot retainer didn't work. The H pattern, maybe we could put it like, I don't know, something like that. Kind of like up here or something. There's actually not a lot of great spots for it. I mean, it's small enough. I could put it right next to the E-brake. Shifter trim there. Back a little bit. I mean, I can always remount this later. It's just a single piece of double-sided 3M tape. Maybe I'll put it there. Kind of like that. No, it'll go up there. Right outside of the shift boot, that way we can pull it off right with the uh, the surround for the radio. Let me get the alcohol wipe all out. I'm gonna prep this surface and then we'll stick it down and uh, do a last impressions. Just make sure that surface is nice and clean. As you can see, it was not. Curious. Oh, that's gross. That was on the e-brake. I definitely need to do a detail on this car. It sat for a, quite a bit and needs some love, but it's all good. We'll get there. Now that the alcohol wipe is done, um, we're just gonna let that dry. Make sure our H pattern orientation is correct. Take the, uh, the red backing off of the double-sided tape. Nice and easy. And then what we're just gonna do is get it all nice and lined up. press down so yeah that's the H pattern all installed I love that looks great sweet no I definitely like this setup a little bit better I'm honestly most excited about this little button and really disappointed that this didn't end up working and I did end up actually destroying the o-ring in the bottom it is just supposed to slide on and yeah, I definitely bought the wrong size. If anyone of you guys has a M10 uh, shifter that, you know, this likewise shift boot retainer would work for, drop a comment down below on uh, what car you'd put this in. And, uh, you know, maybe we can just give it away to one of you guys. Uh, if we can't use it, you know, it might as well go to one of you guys. That's all the, uh, the likewise stuff that I can do today, at least for the Skyline. Let's throw the extension and the uh, red cherry pop back into the Subaru. Because so I do have that car still here outside. So let's go to the Subaru. Whew. 
So now we're in the Subaru. It's really cold. I actually already have the threaded adapter plus on there, which we're able to just screw right to the shifter. Get that nice positioning of the logo. And then that we actually do need to adjust, but I forgot the little Allen key. So maybe I can do it. Nope. Well, that is fully tightened. You can see this is actually rotated a little bit and I do need to adjust the, the screw on the top there, but at least it's in. This shifter is so much notchier than the Skylines is, but this also does have the uh, the short throw installed, whereas the Skyline just has some shifter's return springs. Happy birthday. What? She fires right up. Sweet. Like to start her every once in a while, make sure the battery stays charged. Again, we have the nice STI seats. Super nice. Air out. So we just got the likewise shifter extension installed in the Subaru. Skyline's all set up as well with the full likewise kit. We weren't able to use that shift boot retainer. But luckily, again, that drift button went off like a breeze after I, you know, cut myself and bled a little bit. But nothing out of the ordinary. Again, you know, if you guys are interested in any of the likewise stuff, I'll put some links in the description below. And of course, if you guys want any bags or air suspension, then be sure to go check out Bag Rider. It's where we all work, and it's a great, great place, great people, great products, and most importantly, great pricing. If you're in the market, be sure to check it out. Put a link down in the description below. If you guys really like air suspension and uh, want us to do like a coupon code in the future, I can certainly go talk with the, the marketing guys over at Bag Riders, see if we can work something out for that. I definitely feel like I help enough people out getting air suspension or getting onto our products and sites and stuff. So I think it'd be a great idea. It would really help you guys out as well. But if you haven't already, go check out Bag Riders Air Suspension for all your air suspension needs. They are the one-stop drop shop. They've definitely earned that title. Thanks for checking into this episode of Ricer Raceworks. We, again, did that likewise unboxing as well as install in both the Subaru and the Nissan. And got some more stuff coming, so stay tuned. All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.